Before this video begins, I would like to give a huge shout out to Anthony, AKA Ace of Clay with Super Sculpty. He recently created this amazing, amazing sculpting kit. It comes with all the essentials that you could need for sculpting. And I just want to say that I am so impressed and excited for him. This is such a huge deal. Whether you're an experienced sculptor, whether you're just starting, this kit is where it's at. I will leave the description box down below. And I just want to say congratulations. I honestly cannot think of a better person to have a sculpting box than Anthony, AKA Ace of Clay. Okay. Woo! Hey, second channel, it's Ray here, and welcome back to my second channel. Now, you watching this know you did not read the title incorrectly. Today, guys, I am going to be doing a humongous haul of all the art supplies that you can get at Home Depot, where the dads go. Uh, basically, if you guys don't know, Home Depot has a humongous selection of art supplies as well as tools that I think every single artist can get a great use out of. And the best part is, is that most of the stuff that I have here today, it's very, very, very cheap. That's a good thing about Home Depot, is there's so much cheap stuff there. And you guys know, I am very passionate about art supplies and weird places because where I grew up, there was almost nothing in college when I was going to school for art. It was an insanely small town. I had no money. There was no Michaels or anything like that for a very, very long way away. And I just really had to make do with what I could find, where I could find it. and. One of those places was the hardware store. Uh, so yeah, before we get into it, if you are new to my second channel, I highly recommend that you hit the subscription button as well as the notification bell. Unlike my main channel, my upload schedule here is very hectic. I could go a whole month without uploading or I can upload two days in a row. It just depends here on my second channel with how I'm feeling. So to always get notified, I highly recommend that you hit the subscription and notification bell. Now the very first thing that I am always, always, always needing in my art studio is cloths. Now I got this multi-purpose terry towel 20 pack for I want to say like maybe seven dollars which isn't too bad especially when you consider how big these are. Now I got these for whenever I do my paintings like my oil paintings, my watercolor. I am always making a mess when it comes to that. And lately I've been noticing that I've been going through paper towel after paper towel and it just seems so like I guess wasteful to just constantly be using paper towels all the time. But on the other hand I don't want to use any nice towels just in case the oil paint gets all over them and stains them. So that's where these bad boys come in to save the day. And plus what I like about these towels is that it's so much easier on my brushes to clean. Like with paper towels, I'll just like scrub and scrub and scrub and little hairs will come off. But with these nice soft towels, it'll be so much easier to clean my brushes. And if it does come down where I do need to throw it away, I can just toss it and I won't feel bad because they are disposable. Now, speaking of paint, I actually <laughs> I actually got this paint palette. And honestly, I could see myself using this a lot when it comes to a brush cleaner. When I do watercolor, I like to have a dirty pan and I like to have a clean cup of water. That way they don't like mix together and it doesn't get all muddy. And this will be perfect to just beat up and get dirty and get full of water for my watercolor. And I'm not gonna lie, this is actually like really, really good quality for only a dollar. Like, I can't even bend it. That's how how thick it is. Now, the next item that I got is a little silly. I'm not gonna lie. You can get these literally anywhere, pretty much, even at gas stations, I've seen them. These are a 15 pack round pencil pro sharpener, Home Depot specified pencils. It comes with a pencil sharpener. It comes with the Home Depot logo on the side, which I was like, yes, I need that. Oh, they smell like freshly cut wood. Oh my God. Oh, these smell so good. So yeah, these are basically just like regular Home Depot pencils. They're made out of 100% wood made in the United States of America. They feel really good, very thick, you know, like very heavy pencil. And honestly, I just can't wait to be like drawing with a Home Depot pencil, you know? I just thought, why not? Orange, it's fun. So yeah, if you're looking for a good quality pencil, the Home Depot, they gotcha. Now back to the painting. God, this chair is so loud. Do you hear how loud it is? Oh my God. 
But anyway, back to the painting stuff. Uh, the next thing that I got, I should have bought literally the moment that I moved into my apartment. In fact, I don't know why I'm only buying it two years later. And this is a nine foot by 12 foot plastic drop cloth for your paintings. If you look around my carpet, you can definitely see so many areas that I unfortunately have gotten oil stains in the carpet that's not coming out. You know, and all of it could have been prevented with a drop cloth. Now basically what this is, is that it's a giant sheet of clear plastic that you just drape over your carpet. And if you happen to spill something when you're painting, it's no problem because it gets on the drop cloth and you know, it's no big deal. They have a bunch of these in so many different sizes and they even have have like canvas ones if you wanted to like go all out and I highly recommend getting a dropped cloth for every single kind of artist who does any kind of painting. Trust me at some point in your life you are gonna need drop cloths. Now speaking of painting, another thing that I really really want to emphasize is that if you do any kind of oil painting I highly 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 recommend that you get gloves because you don't wanna get any of that linseed oil and all the paint thinner. You don't wanna get any of that junk on your hand. But these are so great for when you're doing oil painting. I use these a lot when I go to the grocery store nowadays or when I go get gas, because you know, it's just better to be safe than sorry. Now, speaking of being an artist, speaking of having a lot of art tools, the Home Depot and the hardware store has an incredible selection of painter's tape. Now, I personally already have a giant roll of painter's tape just sitting around that I need to use up, but one tape that I really did need for my drawings to like tape to my desk and not rip them apart was a uh, masking tape. I wouldn't recommend putting this on paper, but it's really great for like canvases, sticking things together. They come in all different types, stickiness, sizes, colors. If you are looking for some painter's tape, Home Depot got you. Now, the next art supply that really caught my eye that I absolutely cannot wait to use this bad boy. This is a Milwaukee Ink Zoll liquid paint marker. It can write on pretty much any surface available. It writes on the dirtiest, hottest, roughest surfaces, long lasting, marks in harsh environment. It dries two times as fast. It's medium point and chisel tip. It's white, it's liquid paint. It has a 10 second drying time. Marks on surfaces up to 300 degrees. I mean, what can't this pen do? This oil-based pen is like the one pen to rule them all. And the best part is, is that this god pen only cost $4. That's literally half the price of a regular Copic marker, you know what I mean? I am so excited to try out this pen. Now, speaking of an alcohol-based marker, this next item is actually personal for me. I could not believe that I actually found this in store. Actually, there was a lot of them. And this is a sprayable hand sanitizer. The alcohol percentage in this is 80%. Oh, it stinks. Oh God, it stinks so bad. <gasps> This was only $2, I picked it up immediately. I prefer the sprays because it seems that much easier. It seems a little bit cleaner. And plus you can just spray it all over your car, your steering wheel, whatever you have. Now I wanna give a huge, huge, huge shout out to Home Depot for having insane. <coughs> I wanna give a shout out to Home Depot for having insanely cheap brushes. Now this is a two inch flat, which I think is really nice. I got this for $2. If you go to Hobby Lobby or Michaels, you'll be spending about 14 on this exact same brush. I really like these whenever I do like my following Bob Ross videos, anytime I'm doing acrylic or I'm prepping my canvas with gesso. These cheap brushes from the hardware store are where it's at. And the good thing about these is that if you do happen to get acrylic on them or if they do dry up, they were only $3. So you can toss them out, trim off the hairs. You can do whatever you want with them. You don't have to feel bad about something happening because it was only three dollars and yeah next time you go to the local hardware store just go check out the kind of brushes they have they have so many different types of brushes speaking of paint brushes they also have putty knives which i actually like to use a lot when it comes to oil painting if I need to mix two oil paints, if I need to like scrape, putty knives are where it's at. At the hardware store, they have a huge variety of these bad boys. You can get them for cheap like I did for like 88 cents, or you can get like the best quality one for only $6 at the hardware store. And again, it's just like one of those things where like if you were to go to like a Michaels or a Hobby Lobby, you would be spending at least three times the price on a palette knife. Now, for this next art tool, I feel like every single artist in existence should have this in their kit. And this is a retractable cutter. 
and these are really great when you're trying to get your paper to be as precise as possible, when you're scraping off old oil or old acrylic off glass, even ZHC when he's doing like his iPhone customizations, you know what I mean? Like these come in handy so much. So yeah, next time you're at Home Depot, pick one of these up. Uh, okay, so now the next thing that I got is another uh, god marker, except this one doesn't have as many claims. So this is a Milwaukee Ink Zoll job site marker. It's clog resistant, it writes on dust, wet, oily surfaces. Oh my god, it has up to 72 hours of cap off life. Meaning, if you lose the cap for three days, it's not gonna dry out, which I'm suspicious of that. <laughs> It has a lanyard hole and it has an anti-roll design. Wow. Man, the art supply world really needs to like mesh with the construction world. They, they know what's up. But yeah, these were only like three, four dollars. I really wanted to try them out. And honestly, I just love how tactical they are. I think that's so fancy and so fun. Now I saved the most interesting thing for last. Us oil painters and us house painters, we're not so different, you and I. So when I stumbled across this paint brush rescue, just add water. So basically what this is, is that it's a really highly concentrated paint thinner, but you fill it up with water, you let the paint brushes soak for 24 to 48 hours, it eats away at the hardened paint, and boom, your oil paint brushes are completely restored. If this works, this will be a game changer especially because oil paint brushes are so small and so tiny can you imagine putting like six brushes in here and having them all clean I will keep you guys updated as to how this works in fact my next video will be an oil paint video so exciting and my last recommendations of things you should get at the hardware store include masonite slabs for painting I really 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 love painting on masonite you can buy a big sheet and ask them to cut it there in store and you can get so many panels for so cheap at the hardware store if you guys enjoyed this I could do a part two with Lowe's or maybe a part two with Home Depot again if you want to see more hauls of weird places I will leave a playlist down below and yeah with that being said guys thank you so much again for watching and I will see you next video bye